I have gotten frustrated, right? Like, I, you know, especially when I was sleep deprived. It's just so easy to get frustrated. Your baby's crying and there's nothing you can do and you've done everything and there's nothing you can do and you just get angry, right? I mean, I, 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 it's happened to me before. I have to be honest. I've gotten upset. And what I do, and I do this because I learned it from the video. The video said, if you get to the point where you're upset, like you just, you feel it inside, like it's coming inside and like you just feel something building up, put the baby down. I've done this a couple times already. If I, if, I actually, I did it today. Like I got a little upset this morning. She was cranky, she was crying and I was just taking care of her. So I put her down on her little chair. She was still crying, but I put her down and I walked away. I got a glass of water. I calmed down. I, t I literally took like two or three minutes. And in those two or three minutes that I walked away and de-escalated, I came back and I said, baby, I'm sorry. I love you. I picked her up and gave her a hug. And you know what? Like after a few minutes, she calmed down and I was just a lot more, I was, uh, I was um, a lot more calm and able to handle the situation. I thought, you know, to think more. And you know, what was funny was that when I was soothing her and holding her and everything, she let out this big burp. Every time I think I figured out what's wrong with her, sometimes I'm surprised. So today I was surprised because I already burped her and she burped. And I put her down after she was, she was still being fussy. I walked away. I came back and I came again and I burped her and bleh, like this big burp. And, uh, and then you know what? She was smiling and laughing with me after. And I'm just, I'm really grateful to that hospital that showed me that, uh, the video. You hear these stories of like neglect those, what I'm talking about, where people like hours and hours leave the baby crying because they just, oh, the baby just wants whatever the baby the baby's just fussing maybe just cry to cry or oh don't spoil the baby you know but my thought to that is and what i've learned and what madison my daughter taught me is that they cry for a reason uh, they always cry for a reason she either wants attention she wants love she's a baby you know babies want to feel safe they want to feel um secure they want to feel your warmth a lot of times they're hungry what i learned is they can be hungry Maybe they need to change a diaper. Maybe they have a stomach. They have no other way of communicating besides crying. What is up? I'm trying to set up this live stream for tonight. My daughter has like an energizer bunny in her. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do it tonight, but I'm at least getting the information ready and kind of lined up. So if not tonight, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I got to figure all that out. But anyway, I wanted to share the story that Rachel sent to me via email. Crazy story with a crazy looking guy or see orange Chia. That's his name. Um, I believe this is from Missouri when I saw this. Oh, Minnesota. Sorry, Minnesota. And supposedly this guy threw an infant against uh, the wall, the floor. It says her newborn dies after dad loses his temper and fractured his skull by throwing him on the floor. He admitted to causing the child's injuries. Nobody else was responsible, according to the court documents obtained by CBS. Now, oh, Jesus, this happened last week. Um, he allegedly stood up and made a dropping motion in front of his waist when asked what happened, according to the TV station. Chia told the cops that he threw the baby on its back because it had been crying. And some of my older videos that I started here on YouTube, like long time ago, there were like kind of like some tips and stuff. So one of the things that I learned from the hospital when I went, when my daughter was born, is they showed me a video and it was for like fathers. And um, it's how to deal with a crying baby. I think it was mothers and fathers. They were talking about like fathers to have this thing where they can easily lose their temper. And I know it can be like really stressing the high pitch frequency, screaming, crying. And when you're trying to figure out what to do and nothing's working for me, trying to do everything all over again, feeding, burping, changing the diaper. Sometimes the baby just wants comfort. Sometimes the baby. So I found out sometimes doing the same thing, going through the cycle over a second time, it's worked other times too. One of the biggest tips that I learned from the hospital is that if you're losing your temper, put the baby down. It might sound cruel to somebody that's not a parent, but put the baby down in, you know, a playpen or one of those, I forget what the bassinets or a bassinet and walk away. Take a couple of minutes. You know, if you're in the house, you know, don't, don't leave the baby alone in, the, in Walmart or something. But uh, if you're in the house, walk away, go to the other room, sit down, relax, take a minute, breathe. And trust me, you'll come back to that situation a whole lot better unless you have some mental issues, probably like this person had that might not help. Now, medics were called to the home, St. Paul, in St. Paul on Thursday, found the child unconscious with a fever of 103, which is horrible, horrible for an infant. Just 
So um, the child was pronounced dead at the hospital. Um, Chia and his partner. What does partner mean? What is a partner? I guess his girlfriend or is he? I think partner is like one of those terms. I'm not going to get into it. But had previously been told to bring the child to the hospital but decided to wait. According to KTSP, we might check out that article. I checked out another article, by the way, too. Um, Minnesota CBS Local. I'm not going to go through this one because I really like the way the Sun, uh, Sun CO UK formulated this article uh it was also stated that um he said the child had the child then appeared to have a seizure on april 22nd so chia and his partner previously been told have been told to bring the child to the hospital decided to wait and the child appeared to have a seizure on april 22nd that's the problem with ch- uh, infants especially when you let their fever go too high they can have a seizure and once they have a seizure i've heard and i've read um, I've had people tell me, and I've also read this online, um, that once they have a seizure, when you let the fever go too high, they can continue to have seizures every time they have a fever for several years on forward. Uh, the infant was found with a lacerated liver, lung contusion, broken ribs. Like, what? Both new and healing. I mean, this baby was being beaten and all kinds of stuff So for whatever amount of period of time. It wasn't just a one-time thing. A skull fracture, brain bleed internal abdominal bleeding and bruises to the head a neighbor heard sounds of pounding and a baby crying from the apartment the night before i mean that's just disgusting dude disgusting the neighbor recalled three to four cycles of pounding that lasted a minute when the baby cried comparable to the sound of someone striking a wall so i'm thinking maybe this guy was slamming the baby against the wall i mean she said this child suffered fatal injuries while his partner was asleep. He has been charged with second degree. I'd like to know who's his partner. And the other thing, too, is it seems like there's no way because the, if it was old and new wounds, there's no way that this other partner didn't know that that was going on. It also seems like to me when he finally admitted to um, that he caused the injuries, nobody else was responsible. Why do you need to say that nobody else was responsible? To me, it's almost like you're trying to take culpability for somebody else that might have had some culpability within this incident. And here's some uh, bit of interesting information. This gives a little bit more context and it's a little bit more informative. Uh, KSTP.com, they state here that officers obtained Chia and the baby's mother, Chia told police, the child had been crying and seemed bothered for the past few days and also had a high temperature near 104 to 105. I mean, that's just stupid. That's just stupidity right there. After calling the hospital, they were advised to bring the child in to be seen, but decided to wait. This is not an accident. This is not just parents not knowing. This is intentional. They probably didn't want to bring this child in because they were afraid of what was going to be found on that child's body as they found. Um, Chia said that the child appeared to have a seizure the night of April 22nd. I wonder why. And it might not even be in the temperature. It could have been you slamming this child against the wall or on the floor. The complaint states Chia told police he put the child in its crib the next morning and then went to check another child they were caring for. They need to take that child out of there. When he came back, the child wasn't breathing. Oh, yeah, I'm sure that's what happened. It adds, when police told Chia the child had significant injuries and asked if he caused them, he replied, not that I know of. How would you not know if you did or not uh, cause those injuries or if the child had significant injuries? When uh, pressed by officers and told the severity of the injuries the child had, the complainant states Chia put his head down and said, uh, what you said was right. When asked if he lost his temper, he nodded and began to cry. Oh, please send me those goddamn tears. Actually, those tears will be good for all the people that have sympathy for the parents and could care less about the child. So those tears will be useful to those people. Hopefully you'll have those people in your jury, the people that always feel sympathy for these kind of people. Oh, uh, nobody's perfect, right? Nobody's perfect. Like we're talking about anything near perfection, right? Leaving the child for 105 fever for days, beating the child, slamming the child. I know I'm being a little extreme, but this is seriously what people sometimes defend in a way. That's kind of crazy what I'm saying, right? I know. The complaint states officers asked him a series of yes or no questions during which time he admitted to causing the injury, saying it was an accident, but nobody else was responsible. It's just me. Just me. Or him. 
Chia allegedly told officers the child was crying and he threw the baby down on its back when he got mad. He added he didn't want to hurt the child. Well, at least they got a a guilty plea or not a guilty plea, but a, 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 he admitted it. Now they can go and use forensics and all kinds of stuff to uh, catch him on the whole old and new healing wounds that this just wasn't a one time thing. And that maybe the whoever his partner is, maybe the mother, the child's actual mother might not be the partner. Maybe that's the partner is his person he was dating or whoever. Maybe it's a guy. Maybe it's two men in the house. Well, the way the way things are going now. Right. So I don't know. Comment down below. Hopefully we can get a stream going on, man. Um, peace.